how many of us have the courage to speak the truth, especially before VIPs, great leaders. Many of us, we compromised the truth. We did not articulate the truth because we want to be politically correct and so can please everyone and be popular and be accepted. Not for Elijah. He was a man of integrity. There was no compromise whatsoever. There is no neutrality in faith. It's either you are for him or against him. I think many of us, we never learned this lesson. We're always thinking about doing ministry when we have not taken care of our own spiritual life. We want to change the whole world. We want to work for the church. We want to volunteer this and that. But most Catholics, unfortunately, they do not take care of their spiritual life seriously. Elijah, he put his life in order first. He had a deep relationship with God. He was a man of deep prayer, fervent prayer. He was a man who was able to listen to God in silence. A man who was obedient to the word of God. Most of us, we tell people what to do, but we ourselves don't do. Elijah not only preached the word, he obeyed the word. If we want to be good leaders, we first must listen to the word of God. If we cannot do it, how can others do it? If we cannot obey, others cannot obey. No point teaching others if we ourselves cannot do it. But my dear brothers and sisters, in spite of his greatness, he had a weakness. No one is perfect. What was his weakness? Elijah, he worked alone. He didn't collaborate with others. He was zealous for God, that is true. But he was over presumptuous. He thought he was the only prophet left. Never worked alone. Jesus never worked alone. He called the twelve to help him. Don't ever think that we should work alone. If we work alone, we fall into depression because it's a lonely mission because we are fighting against the devil, we are fighting against the world. You cannot be alone. That's why we need always to collaborate with each other. Mission in communion. Not working in silo. If we collaborate together, if we support each other, if we encourage one another, the mission will be successful, will be effective. Never work alone. That is not what Jesus intends for us. God is always with us. And God sent his messengers to help us.